All right, guys, so we have uh, we did a couple standing passes there. So for this one, this time we are going to get into a closed guard, okay? So let's say we did the takedown, the person maybe jumped the closed guard or whatever it is, we've ended up inside the closed guard, okay? So something that's really big at PSF that I teach immediately is not a lot of good stuff happens down here on the knees, all right? So there's no reason for me to stay down here and fight and hand fight with him when all of the submissions that he has in his arsenal are triangles and arm bars and Kimura sweeps and everything that is actually done inside the closed guard. So just by standing up and breaking his legs, we take away all of those options for him, okay? So here's what we're gonna do first, okay? I wanna come up and I wanna get on my knees, okay? I like to kind of pinch my knees in so I can be explosive on my toes. You don't really wanna sit on your toes. This does happen sometimes, okay? So don't let don't let too, too much anyone tell you. You shouldn't be on your toes, but sometimes you do end up sitting on your toes. A lot of people won't say that, but that's just the way it is, okay? So if you can, get used to being up on your toes so you just don't get knocked over, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is, on the side that we're gonna stand up, this is the side that I wanna grab Rob's grip, okay? So we're gonna grab the gi and I wanna control this. The reason I wanna do that is if I was to not control it and I was to just stand up, Rob would hook underneath my leg. And then most of the time I would fall over, okay? When you start, this will probably happen to you a lot. So I need to be able to stand up. So I'm going to grab this side of Rob's sleeve and then keep him from hooking around my leg, okay? The other hand is gonna go exactly to where you went earlier. We're gonna grab up pretty high on the collar and then I'm gonna pull it back into me, okay? So I wanna drive my elbow down here and keep my elbow straight like this. That way I can lift him up. I don't wanna just do it from out here, I wanna get here first, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm going to pull the lapel on this side and I'm going to pull his sleeve on this side, almost like we're tilting his body the opposite of the way we're gonna stand, okay? So I'm going to do one big step and I want you to try to get to where you can do this all in one motion, okay? So we'll do it slow at first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, anytime the guard's close, my posture is up, okay? I'm grabbing the sleeve, I'm grabbing the collar. We're going to step up on the side that we have the sleeve again so he doesn't hook underneath the leg, okay? And we're going to push and lift him up in the air, okay? So guys, right now Rob is sitting on my knee, okay? I could let go of him and he's helping me out. If we weren't friendly, Rob would come down and try to once again probably hook underneath my legs, okay? This is a problem, all right? So, take the back to the middle here. All right, so I still have the sleeve, same side, and I have the grip that's here. Guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our elbow and I'm gonna turn my elbow in. And what this does, I either need it on Rob's leg or on my rib cage. And what it does, it's gonna keep Rob, go ahead and sit up, it's gonna keep him from sitting up past that. So you're using your fist as like a antenna almost to keep him from sitting up past this. If Rob sits all the way up, this is also a problem for me. So we don't want that to happen. So once we sit them up, guys, we're here. We're going to grab lapel, sleep. Okay, after they're up, I'm going to pull him up. I'm going to tuck my elbow and then we're going to push on the opposite side. We're gonna let go now, and I'm going to grab his pants, and we're gonna push inside the knee, not on top of the knee, but right inside the knee right here to open this up, okay? I'm holding him up. I don't want him to reach down, so try to hook underneath my leg. I'm holding him up, okay? So I'm gonna come in, elbow in. I'm going to push this down. Now, guys, this is important. While Rob is falling down, we're going to step over this leg. So I'm going to push this down, and while he's falling down here, it's open. Before he hits the ground, I want to step over the leg and pinch. Okay, now we're gonna get right back into that first position. Okay, so without Rob, here's where we are. Okay, I'm going to be inside the closed guard. My posture has to go up. Hand fight, grip, grip, same side that we grip the sleeve. Grip the lapel, grip the sleeve. I'm going to step up pull up and lift the person up, okay? My elbow is gonna go in, keep the gauge. Now that we're up, holding them up. You can't let them go back down, okay? I'm gonna let go, 
go inside the knee. Push this down, and I'm holding them up so where they don't just fall down, okay? As soon as I feel it break, I'm gonna hold them up enough so I can step up and over and put myself back in the headquarters or combat position. Sound good? Any questions? No. Okay, guys, as much as you can, you wanna pick these people up off the ground. As soon as you get into close guard, it's the first thing we teach. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, okay? It takes away you making those, um, th those mistakes at giving away really easy triangles, guillotines, arm bars, okay? And we pass from our feet, it's much, much easier to pass, okay? So, you wanna go first? So we'll do this from this. You guys will be on the feet, okay? Rob will do a little takedown on you for the first one, okay? Put you down, and then you put him in the close guard, okay? So turn in, all right. So first thing, on the toes, lapel, and let's get that grip. Grab it and just start pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, okay? Does it matter if they keep this? If she's still on there, you can still stand up. I would like for you to break the grip, but yes, you can stand up with it on there. It's okay. 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 Now remember, guys, the same side that Rob is going to step up on is the side that you're grabbing. We're grabbing their wrist so they can't underhook under the leg, okay? So he's going to pull her in. He's going to step up. Okay. One, two, and pick her up. Okay, turn this way. Okay. So he's picked her all the way up. Okay, so turn back. Remember, his elbow is in tight and it's his fist is keeping for Sophia from sitting up anymore okay so now he's gonna now it's okay to let go because he's holding her up she can't reach inside of his leg he's gonna let go with this hand and he's gonna push inside the knee here not on top of the knee but inside the knee while he's holding her up as soon as he feels it open he's gonna step up and over okay very good let's just do all four angles for him All right, close guards, he is in the lapels, step up, lift them up, good elbow, pushing it down, and step over into the head quarters. Good job. Any questions there, Rob? Uh, no. Feels all right? Good, step up, good. Push inside that knee, control her on the way down, and step right over. Very good. Okay? Is there one last angle? Yeah, that's right. Okay. The best one, so they can see your face. Right? Okay, scoot back this way for me, guys. Come back this way. I got you, Ty. Okay. Control. Good. Gonna step up. Pick them up. Very good. Inside the knee, control her down. Keep the right lapel holding her up, and we're going to step over into that headquarters. And what else do you call it? Nice Combat stance position. Okay. Good. Speed, you ready? Okay, Rob's a manly man. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're in the closed guard. Rob jumped guard. Sophia didn't do the takedown. Okay. So first, we're on the lapel, and she's taking the right hand across the body, okay, so she can step up. So we're gonna step up on the same side we pushed it. We're gonna pick Rob up, very good. How much do you weigh? About 115? Yeah. And he weighs 265, okay, very good. <laughs> okay, so from here, she's gonna hold him up. I don't want you to turn your wrist like that. I just want you to hold him here, and what it's doing is keeping him from going past us. It's also keeping him from sitting up anymore, okay? We don't wanna let go of this, guys, because if they go all the way down, they can hook under your leg. I'm talking fast, so you can... Okay, so from here, she's gonna let go with this side. We're gonna push inside the knee, and as soon as you feel them letting go, we're gonna step up and over. Very good. Okay, different angle. Any questions on that? No. Okay, good. All right, so we're here and here, we're up on the toes, taking the arm across, same side, we're gonna step up. Sophia picks them up, and guys, like I said, not a whole lot of excuses here. She weighs 115, he's about 70 pounds heavier than her. Okay, so you can do this, you just have to make sure the technique is good, okay? This is the gauge, making sure he doesn't go down, making sure he doesn't come all the way back up. He's got a nice tight closed guard, but she's gonna go inside the knee and put the pressure there. And then this hand is gonna hold him and guide him down from falling too fast, okay? So she's gonna open it up and she's gonna step over almost before he hits the ground. Very good, okay? Then we're gonna pinch those knees, all right? That's very good, Sophia. All right, 
Sophia comes into the closed guard. Okay, shut this close down. We're going to pick them up. Very good. Okay, elbows in, inside the knees, good. Push them down and step over. Okay. Good job. Is that all of them? That was three. Oh, one more. One more. Okay. All right. So we're here from the back. You can see how she does the feet, the same side she has the wrist. We're going to step up there first, start picking them up. Good. Elbow in, pushing the knee, stepping over. Come on. Very good. Right, good work.